Good morning as we take a look at your uh, weather forecast for this Thursday morning. It is now 452 and we uh, take a look outside at our current temperatures throughout the region. We have temperatures in the 40s and some in the low 50s. Hoquiam at 52 degrees, 50 over on uh, Camino Island right now. So not too bad of a start to the day as we're just seeing some fog in some areas, but it's much cooler than it was yesterday. You can see four degrees cooler in Hoquiam, 14 degrees cooler in Bellingham right now than it was yesterday at this time. So it's a big difference. Uh, here's a look at the high temperatures forecast for today. We're going to get into the mid 60s as you can see here for the most part. Uh, 50 and fog and clouds as we start the day starting to see the sun around noon and then we'll see some sunshine and a lot of it this afternoon by five o'clock. Actually by the afternoon we should see some sunshine for everybody. You can see here in Bellevue by one o'clock the brilliant sunshine will be out. Here's a look at Monroe with your sunshine off and on throughout the day. Less foggy there it appears and in Chehalis some sunshine uh, this afternoon. You can see temperature getting to 66 degrees there. All all right, it's time now to take a look at our hometown forecast on this Thursday morning. Today we are bouncing down to Grayland, Washington. As you know, Westport is right here. Here's Aberdeen and you can see out in Grays Harbor County in the uh, town of Grayland. And this weekend it is the Cranberry Harvest Festival in Grayland, Washington. They have some food booths and uh, all these other things and you can tour the cranberry bogs and all of that. So the Cranberry Harvest Festival is this weekend in Grayland, Washington. 61 degrees could see off and on showers throughout the day for that. Here here is now our future cast, which is going to show us what's going to happen today and on into tomorrow. You can see this doesn't show the fog, but what it does show is the clear skies. This is all of Thursday, and as we make our way into Friday morning at 10 a.m., we can see the clouds do start to move in a bit. And then by the afternoon of Friday, we start to see those showers on the coast in places like Grayland, of course. And then as you move further inland, those showers will make their way in late Friday night. By 9.30 p.m., you'll start to see them in Olympia and in Seattle. And, of course, a lot of heavy rain out on the coast. Uh, Coast. And then that moves in on Saturday off and on as well, which, as I told you earlier, may affect a little bit of our uh, eclipse viewing. Here's a look at Saturday morning at 930 a.m. just after uh, the eclipse. And you can see here some places could be clear and have the ability to see it. That is for sure, but not everywhere. Here's our national high temperatures for today. As we take a look, Seattle will get to 64 degrees, but throughout the nation, find your favorite city and see what it's going to get to today. Tampa, 85 degrees and 56 in Minneapolis. The mountains today, it will be Saturday. 49 to 55 degrees are your past temperatures with that snow level at 8,500 feet. So not too bad of a day in the mountains if you wanted to go on a hike, at least after the fog burns off. So some morning fog with some afternoon sunshine, high of 64 today, 71 tomorrow, but the rain does come in later in the day. Then we have those off and on showers for Saturday and Sunday, and then, you know, essentially through the early part of next week as well with those temperatures into the low 60s.